couldn't believe how um, how powerful it was for freeing up areas in my body that I didn't realize had frozen. That these meridians that run through our whole body are um, energy channels. And our energy gets stuck in these channels for various yeah. reasons. A lot of times it's due to trauma. It could be physical trauma and it can manifest as lines of tension in your muscles or um, muscle spasms or, or um, it can be emotional blockages because emotions are actually energy. Yeah. Which took me forever to find that out. Um, and it's a good thing to know that your emotions are energy. Your emotions are not you. You are not your anger, but you may be angry. You are not your sadness and grief, but you can feel the sadness and grief. And what happens is when we experience emotions that are perceived to be negative, such as anger, or grief, fear, we tend to hold on to them um, and we don't allow them to process through. Uh, particularly in our, in our culture, we tend to be embarrassed by emotions and we like oh, yeah. to keep them in. But when you keep them in, they get stuck in our body as it, because they are energy. They, they get stuck in various places and we don't either we either don't realize they're there or we don't know how to release them. So a lot of the modalities that I work with, all of the modalities I work with, are to help to free up those blockages, whether they're physical, emotional, um, spiritual blockages. Mm. Um, and the, the title of our episode today, Tap Into Your Life Force Energy, um, is kind of a play on words because one of the rabbit holes I ended up going down into was to follow that thread of traditional Chinese medicine deeper and, uh, and also explored and have st studied for a while now um, Qigong which oh, is yeah. related to Qigong and, and breath work. Yes. You do. And, I mean, we, we <laughs> so, put all the modalities down below. So, but, these but, are all, these, and these are all related to, to yeah. traditional Chinese medicine and those energy meridians. The, the energy meridians are um, very much tied to our internal organs, mm -hmm. which in turn are t tied to specific emotions. So let's say, for instance, we're dealing with the lungs. Okay. Um, the lungs are um, the first defense against disease. Mm -hmm. They are also re related in the lung meridian, related to the emotions of sadness and grief. And, you know, we've all experienced that. And I think particularly in this last year and a half or more with the pandemic, we've experienced a great deal of loss, a lot of sadness and grief around all of that. And so there are ways, physical ways that that I teach people in the tapping and acupressure massage to help you release those perceived negative emotions and learn how, um, like with the meditations I do, and see it's all related, and mm -hmm. so it's hard to talk to separate it out and not no, talk yeah, about yeah. others. But, but with with meditations and with the breath work, learning how to breathe through these things and allow them to process through, and not to judge them as whether they're good or bad, positive or negative, they just are. They're just there and allow them to process through. So a lot of what you do then, if I simplify it a little bit and correct me um, if you need to, but it's really allowing people to flow better, right? Yeah. On an energetic level. Yeah. And when, when you say um, life force energy, from your perspective, what would be the definition of that? Because you're, we're talking about a lot of different forms of energy, emotions mm -hmm. as energy, these different meridian points and mm -hmm. channels and your organs, but what is that life force energy? Yeah, it's all pretty much the same okay. thing. Yeah, it's it's really what keeps us alive. If we didn't have the life force energy, we wouldn't be um, living in these bodies as um, human souls having an experience mm -hmm. on you know, a, a physical experience on, in, on earth. 
um, the, the, the soul, we op often um, see it, we often see ourselves as um, bodies with souls, but we're actually souls with bodies. Yeah. A, <laughs> and we don't know how to drive these vehicles sometimes, you know. Yeah. We, we come in and, and we learn certain ways that, and we forget what is the natural connection to all that's around us, and we start separating ourselves from nature, from Mother Earth, from the universe, when we're actually all connected, we're all interconnected, and we're all interdependent on each other, whether we're um, connected to humans and other animals or plants or Mother Earth herself, who is mm. a living, breathing organism who supports us in spite of us not treating her very well most of the time. But it's that life force energy. And in terms of, um, of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong, that primordial qi, that when we start to develop as humans in the womb, it's our navels that develop first. Mm. And two inches below our navel is what's called the lower dantian in, in um, Chinese medicine and qigong. And um, this is where our primordial qi began. Our qi, um, spelled in this case qi, sometimes uh, see it spelled as chi, is the Chinese version of prana, which is mm -hmm. the... Um, Indian version that you may hear in when you're taking yoga classes, you'll hear prana. So I use the words are interchangeable, yeah. and that's your life force energy. So the primordial chi is that life force energy you were born with, okay. and um, and then coming back to the lungs, what do you do with the the lungs? You breathe in the air, and that is the life force energy that you're pulling in from all around you, as the, pulling it in from the universe, pulling it in from, from the, the earth. I mean, it, there's so much you can do, and it's so much fun. So don't worry about the details. <laughs>